so basically, it seems likely that we're going to get an update to manage worlds for The Sims 4. What I mean is this screen here. What does that actually entail? There are genuinely like so many options. Does it mean that vacation worlds are finally not being vacation worlds anymore and they're moving over here? Is it just a general UI change? What I really, really want, like from the bottom of my heart, these map screens are horrific. Even like the latest ones, for example, San Sequoia from Growing Together or Chestnut Ridge from Horse Ranch. Yeah, like they're so basic and I'm not going to say tacky, okay, but they don't even look like the actual world itself. I'm pretty sure like EA just interprets and makes up these maps on the spot without actually like considering what's actually in the world. Did you know over here where my mouse is, there's actually like a little island, but this map would never tell you because it's completely wrong, basically. I've said for so long that they need to update the maps for The Sims 4. I think they look so ugly. Did you know how like severe they used to be? If you think The Sims 4 map screens are ugly now, okay. This is what they genuinely used to look like. It was even worse. The reason why it obviously needs such an update, in my opinion anyway, is because it is a closed world system. In The Sims 3, you could just, you know, plop a lot down anywhere you wanted to. You weren't limited to set lots. You weren't limited to set locations in the world and you could create your own world. It was so magnificent. So I just feel like seeming that The Sims 4 regressed, they need to at least offer something unique more. And The Sims 4 thing is its aesthetics. All the previous Sims games, their thing was having great gameplay. But The Sims 4's thing is the fact that it's pretty and shallow. <laughs> but the map screens, they're not pretty, but they are shallow. They're shallow and shallow. Does that make sense? It feels like a very weird thing for them to update. I mean, for all we know, this might not even be coming because The Sims team always say they're going to update things. They never do it. Do you remember when they said they'd update bunk beds for every single pack? They basically abandoned it. Do you remember when they said they do a towny refresh of every single towny and then they just abandoned it. Do you remember when they said that they would do more Sims 4 pack refreshes after spa day and they abandoned it? <laughs> so it's highly unlikely that we're going to get this update. But on the very rare chance that it did come and on the even rarer chance that it didn't break the game and it was actually functional, I'd be curious to see what a managed worlds update would actually be. If it's just like a change to the style, I think that'd be a bit weird. Although obviously there's a lot of work worlds now and even if you don't own all of the packs you still see them all they're just grayed out so maybe they're just I don't know making it easier to navigate I'm not too sure. In other news it's basically being confirmed that pack refreshes are dead seeming that I mentioned them before. The one and only pack refresh that we got was obviously the spa day refresh now my speculation is they refreshed spa day because it was one of the worst selling sims 4 game packs and then after they refreshed refreshed it, it was still a bad selling pack and nobody bought it even after the refresh. So EA abandoned the idea of refreshes because they tried it and it didn't work. In my personal speculative opinion, based on no evidence, EA don't sue me, thanks. And it's a shame because there's so many packs that deserve a refresh because they're so lackluster. There's so many inconsistencies with the Sims 4 packs, despite the fact that, you know, all stuff packs have the same price point. There's a huge difference in content between luxury party stuff and paranormal stuff. The same with Sims 4 game packs. If you look at the Sims 4 werewolves pack that came with a really nice world, it came with a life state, it came with tons of gameplay for this life state. On the other hand, if you look at the Sims 4 dream home decorator, all it comes with is a career, something which could have gone in a stuff pack. There are so many inconsistencies and I think it's really, really confusing as a player because when you go into the Sims 4 for the first time you don't know which are old packs or which are new packs if you've been playing the game for like nine years you'll know which are the old packs and which are the new packs but as a brand new player you don't know this so i think it's a really big shame that they're not open to the idea of refreshing older packs especially seeing that a few of their packs are faulty products dying out is a faulty product whether it's you know a physical product or a digital product a product is a product and it is faulty it doesn't work my wedding stories is also a faulty product it doesn't work get to work is partially a faulty product that one partially doesn't work i mean even the base game is a 
quality product, really. <laughs> Honestly, though, I think the main reason why we just don't get that much stuff these days is because every single update brings, you know, more bugs and glitches and the game breaks. I personally don't know much about coding, but apparently, according to qualified people, The Sims 4 was coded awfully or the game engine is bad or something, which is basically the main reason why every single Sims 4 gameplay update breaks the game. And I honestly think it's the main reason why like the latest Sims 4 Horse Ranch pack has like so little features because they don't want to add too many features because it'll break the game more. I mean, even if you look at the Sims 4 Horse Ranch, the gameplay features that they did implement are almost all broken and don't work. The Sims 4 Growing Together didn't come with any gameplay. It just came with UI changes and UI overhauls. I feel like The Sims 4 is taking a step away from brand new gameplay now as it's very clear that gameplay is breaking the game, which is ironic, seeming that, you know, EA chose to go down this path of releasing The Sims 4 on its current bad engine and they chose to release more and more DLC for it, but they seem to be abandoning the packs that are basically broken and many even base game features that are very broken. So tying it all together, like even if we do get a brand new huge update for The Sims 4, I'm always going to be skeptical about it because every single update is normally broken and then subsequently gets abandoned. I have heard a saying that EA is the McDonald's of video game developers and like I can see why. <laughs> On that note, oh my gosh, I love a McDonald's. Do you know what? Such a tangent, but it's worth it, all right? If you're wondering why I might sound a little bit weird today, I do have the flu. Don't you find it weird that we say a cold, but we say the flu, but we don't say the coronavirus or a coronavirus, we say coronavirus with no article. Isn't English a confusing language? That was a tangent I didn't mean to go down. The tangent that I meant to go down was whenever like I have the flu, I always feel delirious. Like I don't know about anybody else, but do you ever just like lie in bed with a headache and like you're sweating and you're like half asleep, half awake and you're kind of like dreaming at the same time and you're like hallucinating and you're so delirious and you feel so awful. But like I always have a craving for a McDonald's when I'm ill, especially like as I'm coming out of the illness when the symptoms are just neck up, which is what I've got now. All I can think about is a Mackey D's. Another tangent, I heard in Australia McDonald's is called Macca's, which sounds <laughs> sounds so funny to me. In America, guys, what do, what's like the American slang for McDonald's? Because I feel like every country has their own McDonald's slang. In the UK, we say Mackey's or Mackey D's. Australians say Maccas. What do America, what do you call it? Not just Americans, in any European country, what do you call it? When I was living in Japan, I think they called it Maku. The Japanese word for McDonald's is actually Maku Donarudo, but I think they called it Maku for short. Anyway, what a bloody, this video is basically just full of tangents. Probably because I'm delirious from my flu. Who knows? Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.